Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to bring you up to speed on the density tubes and provide clearer clarification on the new terminology we'll be using moving forward. Let's get started. There are two types of density tubes that can be provided with the link roaster. Type 1, which was previously referred to as V1, and Type 2, which was previously referred to as V2. Both types of density tube perform the exact same function for the link roaster. In this way, there is no difference between them, and neither is newer nor better than the other. However, there are slight differences in the size, weight, and texture of the two types of density tube. This makes it essential to know which density tube you have so you can accurately input the correct preference setting into the Link app. This way, you will receive the most accurate roast plan and power curve recommendations for sample roasting from your data inputs. It's very easy to identify which density tube you have. In this section, I'll explain how to determine the type of tube you're working with. The Type 1 tube is the most common density tube received with the Link Roaster and was previously referred to as V1. To identify a Type 1 tube, start by checking its weight. When the lid is on, the total weight of a Type 1 tube is always above 57 grams, typically ranging between 57 and 65 grams. With the lid off, the tube will weigh above 36 grams. You can also identify a Type 1 tube by its liquid capacity. Most Type 1 tubes only hold up to 98 grams of water, if inconclusive. Base your selection on the initial weight and aesthetic checks. The liquid capacity of Type 1 is typically between 95 to 98.5 grams when filled to the top. This is because the bottom of the tube is rounded, which slightly reduces its capacity compared to the Type 2 tube. Visually and by touch, the Type 1 tube has some distinctive features. The walls of the tube are slightly thicker than those of a Type 2 tube, and the finish is smooth to the touch. Additionally, the base of the tube has a rounded bevel, giving the whole tube a more rounded appearance. Now let's talk about the Type 2 tube, which was previously referred to as V2. This tube has slightly thinner walls compared to the Type 1 tube. Its finish has a metallic grain texture, providing a slight tactile grip when you run your fingers along it. The base of the tube is more square-shaped, with a shorter and sharper bevel compared to the rounded base of the Type 1. This gives the Type 2 a more notable squared appearance. In terms of weight, you can identify a Type 2 tube by checking that the total weight with the lid on is below 57 grams. It is common to see Type 2 tubes range between 51 and 57 grams. When the lid is off, the weight will be below 36 grams. The liquid capacity of a Type 2 tube is slightly higher than that of a Type 1. Due to its square base design, a Type 2 tube will always hold slightly more water. Typically, the liquid weight range of Type 2 is between 98.5 to 100 grams when filled to the top. With the 4.1.2 update, we are introducing this new terminology to avoid any confusion about one tube being newer than the other. Both tube types are equally relevant and the main reason for identifying the type is to ensure the link algorithm processes your data correctly. Once you set the tube type in your preferences menu, you won't need to change it again. And that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. As always, happy roasting.